Hello guys and welcome to another Ron Gamer video. Titan Brawl, the event that everyone was waiting for because this was uh, the Titan that we were to choose from weeks and weeks of choosing between two Titans and eventually it's champion Jaldorg who's been chosen as the Titan for this event um, as the event reward. So this is a good event. Now, first of all, I do apologize for not getting this video out sooner, uh, but I'm sure uh, the lot, lot of YouTubers uh, such as Game Rescue, Zalon, Godan, um, Gaming Jaeger, uh, and many more, they have already covered uh, the kind of pros and cons of Jaldorg. Uh, I do agree with the with one com uh, sort of one general observation that uh, Jaldorg it will, is although it's a champion version. Uh, he is more beneficial for the younger players, so if you're a new player to the game, um, he it will certainly help you uh, hit Titans much uh, higher uh, level than, well, t Titans that are much stronger. Uh, so Paladins and Champions with a lot of armor, a uh, lot of health, uh, because Champion Jaldorg is possibly the highest damage dealing Titan in game. Uh, uh, well, it probably might be argued, uh, it might be for a Ranger Titan, that might be the case. Uh, you do have Odin who comes in very, uh, probably comes in close or maybe surpasses him, I'm not really sure. But uh, because he does earth damage and earth damage, uh, earth resistance is not very prevalent. So it he is a good Titan for that respect. Now there is a chance of getting a bad role, uh, in my opinion, a good role for a champion Jaldorg should include uh, health. So so that uh, some health, some fire resistance, uh, probably some lightning resistance, uh, because you can get you get tier one, two, and three defense, and um, and uh, and I think that with that's a fair coverage. A fire and lightning is a, is a good resistance because uh, having uh, poison resistance or ice resistance is not really going to be useful because um, you know as rangers go, then you're not going to have them engage in melee combat. So it's anything that's ranged. Uh, physical resistance is also alright, not too bad because you can go up against uh, rangers. Uh, but ideally, uh, it would be nice if you get fire and a lightning resistance for defensive and for offensive skills. Uh, I think it'd be probably natural. Um, probably going with one armor piercing skill um, and one uh, damage skill. Uh, and the damage skill could also be a uh, critical. So I think for damage, you know, it's not too bad. Whatever you get. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's kind of the dream role I would choose. Now, going up to 18,000 souls, you pick up a Brawler token. And uh, with this Brawler token, you can pick up one of these three Titans, Odin, Mamesh, and Loki. Um, the event's great price, the greatest price in this event is probably the one at 20k souls for uh, for the Hearts, uh, Hearthstone. Uh, and I do not have this relic actually. So for me, this is a good event. Um, and I will as probably say that I am actually going to go all the way. I've already gone a, a fair bit through and I'll uh, sort of uh, go through how far I've gone already. The event gives you 1.3 boost for uh, choosing these various titans such as Odin, Wukong, Loki, Toland, Calvarax, Valkyrie, Jaldorg and Mahmesh. But you will get 1.1 boost using any Ragnar Titan. So you could equally do this event with a Joran, which a lot of free-to-play players should probably have by now. Or uh, if not, uh, you can uh, you can even use a Karn. And Karn is a three-star champion, and he will should also give you the 1.1 boost. Although I would have preferred if uh, the devs would have uh, probably set that at 1.2 rather than 1.1 to allow. Um, a large number of players to be able to take advantage of the boost. So that's what this is about. Uh, now let's go back to the event and I want to talk about uh, where I am. So uh, my alliance is uh, we are stone beasts. Um, uh, so currently we are ranked 8th. We are going for top 10. Uh, and this is uh, kind of with the with the mindset that uh, if you land a bad role individually for a Jaldorg, we would have an opportunity to pick up a hopefully better role uh, in the alliance reward, so we'll see. Of course, uh, as you can see, I'm at 12,253 souls. Um, I did begin uh, the event with about I think 95 or 96,000 gems, so 
it's 20 20 thousand gems sort of down the pocket so far um i have pulled up a fair amount of three star tokens so i it's for me it's been a decent spread of tokens i did pull three three star tokens and i think there were a bunch of two stars and a few one stars so not too upset i um and as far as the leaderboard goes uh, that's where we are so continuously pushing ahead um and we should see a lot of people finish in my alliance so that's pretty happy about this now in terms of the reward chain uh, uh the one relic that i do not have which i'm really happy that i can get uh no not the banner of earth although i do not have the banner of earth um it's not a relic i'm really after uh, earth site 16000 souls i have continuously missed getting my earth site relic so i'm actually pretty happy that i'm able to get hold of this finally the last time it was available was in a skolnar event um I think and it was but it was too far down and I was too busy and I couldn't get this relic or Skolnar. In fact, Skolnar is one other Titan that's eluded me for a while and hopefully at some point I'll pick him up. Uh, here you have the Hearthstone and Hearthstone is a relic which gives you your Goliath's resistance to uh, fire and poison and these two are possibly the biggest enemies of Goliath because Goliaths are slower but though now they, their speeds have been increased. So it's actually a good, a good one to go. I mean, the one that I would really like is a uh, is lightning resistance, and I'm actually quite fortunate to have picked up uh, a four star Goliath belt a few days back with lightning resistance. So that that's that's good. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's what it is. Now, obviously, uh, at eighteen thousand souls is one of the prizes that a lot of people will be going for to pick up uh, the runner up, runner up titans, uh, which is uh, which are Odin, Marmesh, and Loki. All of these are really really good titans and uh, but let me just quickly um, show you guys what kind of roles you might you could probably um, get right okay so let me show you the roles that I have on my titans and uh, hopefully you'll bear with me while I discuss this now here's my Loki and I pulled this Loki uh, from my last event I think it was probably the last event that was um, that uh, I played with uh, beta ridge and uh, the event uh, the final prize was a level 40 loki my loki unfortunately has no lightning uh, uh crit well no titan critical skill but uh to be honest the 20 percent critical that i already get coupled with the 14 percent critical that the titan already has renders loki with 34 percent critical as is uh, it's quite easy for me to get my critical to about 60 to 70 percent with using one or two relics So I I'm not really sure whether I should whether I need a better role. Obviously, it's preferable that I have one with a um, Titan critical that said uh, Obviously, there is a chance that if I do pull up a Loki I might land up with a better role So what do you guys think do you think I I should try for another Loki? Okay, now the other option I have here is my Mamesh. Uh, my Mamesh has got uh, skills which some say are actually pretty good. Some say it's, he's not. But uh, so the problem with this Mamesh that I have is doesn't have any grand damage skill. I do really like the Panther's health and armor skill, which is really good because uh, it's, he's a, the Panthers will be able to tank pretty much anything. But uh, the, uh, you know, the there is no grand damage so i'm not gonna have enough firepower from the back but that said the saving grace for this mamesh is the fact that i have grenadiers armor piercing um so and damage is not actually too hard to get given the amount of relics that we have nowadays for um for mamesh and mamesh is a unak titan so a lot of all the all the fire relics can be can go on him so what do you guys think do you think i should try for another mamesh to try and get myself a grand damage skill all right, so that's my second choice. The third choice is that I get myself an Odin. Okay, so let me show you guys my Odin as well. So here's my Odin. Let's bring him up on the screen for a better look. Um, and Odin. Now the problem uh, with my current Odin is that I do not have Archer's Damage Skill, which is a very, very important skill for Odin. Uh, but uh, now uh, the problem is even with the X Damage Skill, I do find that Odin is no longer a very good defender titan because um, but yes uh, on, on offense odin with the archer buff archer damage buffing skill becomes very very effective uh, like especially against high armor uh, sort of titans such as uh, well type troops such as imperials now which have which now uh, 
have 80% damage boost, 80% well have um, significantly improved armor as well as Goliath. So if that said, it'd be nice to have one with arch with archer's damage. So as you can see, between all the three titans that are in the event, um, you know I could probably go for any one and hopefully and there's a likelihood I get a better roll with the three. Uh, but in the current meta, so the way I'm thinking about this is that in the current meta, Odin and archers, well, archers are no longer as strong because they their um, their damage has been fixed as the damage as the as the devs put it. So uh, archers are not going to be strong, but who knows? Maybe they become more relevant later on because a lot of people are complaining about uh, you know uh, the damage not being as good as before. Uh, now, Mamesh, of course, I can probably benefit with a damage skill, but Mamesh, I think it might be a better gamble to go for because you can't really go wrong with a Mamesh because even though this Mamesh is in, maybe he's not the greatest Mamesh out there, but he will certainly bring some greens on defense. Um, and Mamesh is pretty much an all-rounder because Mamesh can be used for offense and defense pretty effectively. On the other hand, um, I could pull a Loki and a Loki with a critical skill um, could be really helpful um, uh, in my Loki role, but Loki is only in Titan offensive, only an offensive Titan. Yeah, uh, there is no hope for Loki to become a good defender. Uh, so, so what do you guys think? Um, should I go for a Loki? Should I go for a Mamesh, or should I go for an Odin? All right, guys, let me know what do you think, uh, and if you have a suggestion, I'll really, really appreciate it. And if you do like the video, do drop a like and uh, do subscribe if you haven't. Um, and all the best for the event um, and hope you reach the goal that you can. Alright guys, I'll catch you all in another Ron Gamer video.